Pisces, some sage to cleanse the space, three chimes to bring in positive energy, This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. What would you like Pisces to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Pisces. Pisces, my name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. Welcome to my channel. I do trust my intuition first and foremost. I do look at the sun placement, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get a good idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do trust my instincts. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. What would you like Pisces to know or to be aware of? I like we have that time for healing, the strength card, the world card, the gift, opportunities coming in for you, temperance card, transformation. You know, this is a month of transformation for all zodiac signs. But Pisces, I really do see you going through a major transformation. Things not being quite the way that they should. Don't turn an offer down without taking a second look. All right, why do we get that? The Page of Pentacles, a new gift, a new appreciation, and the Lover's Card. I like that we're wrapping up your reading with the Lover's Card partnerships togetherness love pisces the foundation the basis of your reading this week is the six of swords transition again the quiet transition moving on moving past moving beyond and that really has been the energy of this month, especially during that Mercury retrograde, it really has been a transform of a transformative time for each of us, a healing time for each of us. And I think especially so for the Pisces. And that is followed by the Page of Cups, big ideas, fresh starts, the sky's the limit. Wanting it all, having it all, achieving it all. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your cards this week, Pisces. We start off with the Wounded Soldier. And what the Nine of Wands really tells us, it's time to heal. It's time to move on. It's time to put the past behind us. And why I keep saying time to heal, put the past behind us, is that is followed by the Five of Cups, which is a pivotal point, a turning point. We're looking at the past. We're having difficulties moving on from the past or healing from the past. But this is your pivotal time. This is your time. This is your transform transformative time. Because there is a gift coming in. There's an opportunity coming in. Something that is divinely meant for you. That is, so we have two gifts cards here. Something divinely meant for you that is spiritually and emotionally fulfilling. There is... A large work project, a large project that has to do with your work, that has to do with your place of business, that maybe has to do with you um, receiving or finding employment, but there's a large work opportunity coming in for you. I, and I think when this opportunity comes in for you, you 
may be tempted to pass it up or you may be tempted um, to turn it down. And you may be tempted to turn it down because of all of the transformation, all of the changes that are going on in your personal life. But Spirit Source is saying that say yes and have faith in yourself. So maybe something has happened where you've lost faith in yourself. And Spirit wants you to know that you have that. That, that you have this, you are worthy, you are deserving, and that you should say yes to this job, say yes to this opportunity that is coming in for you in your professional life, in your public life. And Source keeps saying, have faith in yourself. This is part of the growth. This is part of the transition. And in your private life, in your personal life, we have the temperance card, creating, recreating, taking one thing and transforming it into another. So we have the two transformation cards, a time of transformation, a time of change, an ending, a bringing in of the harvest. And this is, you know, reaping what we sow. If we put in the good positive work, that is what is going to come back to us. The King of Cups, emotionally protected, emotional guarded. And I love the strength card. Again, that strength card here is spirit, is source, is God here telling you, letting you know, have faith in yourself. Don't turn down offers without taking a second look. Don't turn down offers without taking a second look. In both your home life and in your public life, things need a second look. Things, I, things need a second look. Don't be tempted just to turn it down on a whim. You're wanting to make big changes around your home life. Some Pisces, maybe this may be moving or making re re making renovations or starting re renovations or completing re renovations or maybe um, adding or subtracting a roommate or a housemate or a house guest. Whatever this major change is that you're wanting to make around your home life, wanting to make in your private life, you find yourself questioning, is it all worth it? Or will it all be worth it? Or has it all been worth it? And your answer, Spirit wants you to know, is that yes, it has been worth it. You may not see the results now, or you may not be seeing the results now, but as fall comes into full swing, you're going to see the results, and you're going to see that it has most definitely been worth it. And you're going to be so happy that you have made these changes. Make those changes that you've been thinking about, that you've been dreaming about. It's all going to be worth it, Pisces. And that is followed by the Seven of Wands. Being guarded, being protective. Something is not as it seems. The Page of Pentacles, Gifts. Gratitudes, a new appreciation, a new found appreciation, and love, a new found appreciation in a relationship. Um, this can be an existing relationship or a new relationship. I, the continual message throughout your reading here, Pisces has been that positivity and productivity go hand in hand for you, Pisces. That a positive attitude will generate positive
positive results. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You know, there's that karma card. What I like to say about karma is the energy that we put out, the energy that we create, is the energy that the world, that the universe reflects back to us. And getting into the habit of being positive, being in the habit of having good words that we speak or that we think to ourselves is the beginning journey of having positive things happen to us. If, if we expect negative, that is what we will get. If we expect positive, that is what we will get.